Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to U-Boat, a new series that we're going to start every Saturday going forward um, and I'm really looking forward to this. I love naval combat, you might have known that on my channel already, you see most of my games are naval based games or to do with water. Um, I'm really into that sort of stuff, so especially when it comes to World War II, I'm just fascinated by the fact that there was such an interesting dynamic between uh, military ships and their, the way they were used. I really, really enjoy it. And none other than submarines as well, because they were crucial and um, really important to the World, World War II as well. So it's going to be really interesting to play it as them. And U4 um, was actually a really interesting ship. And I won't go into too much detail, but it was one that um, did a couple of patrols and then got kind of canned and put to the side and became a training vessel because it just didn't match the Type 7s. So we'll find out more about that as we go on. We'll see that we'll probably want to upgrade later on. But let's get into the game. So I'm not going to go through all this detail. You can read this and pause this if you want um, and have a look at that. Uh, that's up to you guys. Um, we're going to play it on balanced and we're also going to play on intermediate. And that's only probably because um, this game is, I'm relatively new to it and I just kind of want to get a series going, And but I don't want to be too easy. So let's do that. So we're going to play at about 50% realism and we're also going to uh, stay with the tutorial because we don't need it. So we're all good to go. Okay, so here he is, um, my little cool guy with his little pipe. Uh, I'm enjoying that, and it's called the Sour Sailor, of course. Let's get into it. So we're going to skip that because it's really buggy. But basically, um, what I want to say to you guys is don't forget, if you do like U-Boat and you want to see more of this, make sure you like the video so I know, and also subscribe to the channel because I'm really close to that 1,000. I really want to get there. That's one of my big goals. Um, also, comment as well. Let me know what you think about U-Boat um, and what you've been doing with U-Boat, whether you play it or want to buy it. That'd be really interesting. And also, I have Patreon now, so if you guys want to join it's three dollars a month um, and i will post a lot of behind the scenes kind of content posts and things like that and also your name will appear on the um videos as well so that'd be really cool as well to add that in so thank you guys for that if you do join and also uh, until the first of october which isn't many days away unfortunately um there is a uh, a little kind of deal here where you can get a free trial for seven days so please please go ahead and do it right let's get into the game there we go okay so what we're going to first off we're going to do is we're going to go and into the warehouse um, and we're just going to re, re, um, what's the word? Resupply. Um, so I'm going to sell this, uh, this because I don't need it. I'm going to buy that though, because we do need that just in case we come across a ship that we want to destroy. Now we haven't got many torpedo tubes, but we do want to buy some. So let's grab a couple. Um, so we've got, what well, we've got three plus two. So we've got five torpedoes. So we can probably get five kills maybe if we're really lucky. Um, I want to buy some HE ammo um, just in case we decide we want to destroy a ship from with a gun and I want to get some variety so we've got canned food, canned bread, preserved pork, um, I think we should get some veg and probably some dried potatoes as well that's going to help us out a lot um, and then finally equipment we need to probably get some lubricant just in case um, and I think we're good to go after that. Now on our first first journey we don't have to wait for that to be filled, so we could kind of just go, um, which is nice, but we, we probably do want to get that filled. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to our menu and we want to go to crew. And we're going to set our crew because basically we've, we've got 14 sailors, five officers, but we need to give them tasks. So the standard we have at the moment is is these guys have these kind of standard standard uh, roles and things and, and responsibilities, but we do want to adjust these. So I'll be back in a minute with um, the complete tasks, complete schedule, uh, complete squads, complete specializations, boat schedule, everything, and then I'll show you it. Okay, so here we go. So I've done what I needed to do here. So we've got our tasks. So. Our radio officer is only going to have really one job, which is to use the radio, obviously. Um, but they're also a trained medic. So medic is higher than anything else other than sleep. And that's purely because obviously if someone gets injured, we want them to be sorted out quite straight away. I've gone for higher on the listening for contacts than on the radio for obvious reasons. And uh, cards at five, just because they might need some downtime. So they'll do that in their downtime. Then our mechanics, our engineers, um, we've got them set as uh, cards for five, and then they've got varying levels. So they need to maintain torpedoes, engines, uh, fix the ship, that sort of thing. And they're also the cooks. So they're going to have them cooking when they've got nothing else to do as well. And then the watchmen, the two kind of officers, they've got calm the, calm the crew, um, lookouts, then navigation, and then uh, they've got the cards as well as the last kind of thing. Um, so the lookout and the, and the navigation, it, we might need to kind of like uh, have this like crossover thing where they both do it because navigation we might get lost, but we'll see how it goes. Schedule, I've only split, I've, I, it should be three slits uh, shifts, but I've changed it down to two. 
um, and there's six hour shifts, so it's quite straightforward. Six hours on, six hours off. And the radio guys, uh, radio radio guy will be four hours on, three hours off, uh, and then basically one free hour, and then it's the same repeating. Same with the uh, first engineer, and then the other engineer is like kind of swap round, and then the same with the watchmen. Same way again, they split and they, uh, they swap round. Now we've got 14 crew, um, so we're going to have uh, seven on seven on each shift. And we're going to have two assigned to each watchman and two assigned to each engineer. Engine, if they're assigned to the engineer, it makes the ship uh, run faster and also uh, less fuel, um, which is great. And the watchman, if they're on watch, then it increases the range. So we want that for sure. I've not put anything on the radio guy because he doesn't really need help, to be honest. It just increases the distance of the hydrophone, but I think uh, we'll get away with that. That's fine. Um, and then finally, the schedule for the boat. I've put this as a six hours on, six hours off dive schedule as well. We should be okay with that. I think we'll, we'll find out once we actually get down there if we start to suffocate. So let's get going. So the next thing we need to do is get our orders. So we're going to go to class and he's going to give us our orders. Um, we've got the first one is always quite easy. It's just a patrol. Um, so we're going to pick one that's kind of closer to the coast if we can. And we're going to come down. We could come out here with Wilhelm Saban and we're going to go into here. And we're just going to kind of going to do this kind of pattern through here and we'll see what we can find. So we'll go do that. So we set our mission. We've got our mission set. We need to kind of set our orders. So we'll go first of all, we'll go over here along the coast. Um, it's going to take a while to get there, but we'll, we'll be fine. And then we'll obviously do the patrol when we get into the area. Now to start the ship, I want to set myself up. So we've got our speed. So our speed's going to stay there. Um, we're going to have a depth meter. Um, I think if I click and drag, I might be able to move this. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to put the depth meter over here because this is really important. I do need this a lot. Um, and then I'm not too bothered about uh, kind of angle on bow and also rudder. Not a big issue for me, but speed certainly is. So we're all ready to go. So let's get going. So I'm going to hit it onto half speed um, and then going to head head out. Uh, I think actually forward two is probably this, the best speed for you for um, because it's a slower ship. Um, and what we do is going to head out and we're just going to go and uh, we're going to go see what we can find. So I'm going to leave this because it's going to take a little while. It's real time. So it will uh, it will take a while to get going. So here we go. Here we're leaving. I, I do I love this. Like how beautiful is this game at times? It's not the most graphically like up to date. I mean, this isn't obviously real, real kind of life. This is not what Wilhelm Zaven looks like, especially not now after it's been bombed and rebuilt. Um, but it's uh, certainly uh, quite a nice thing to look at as you're leaving the port. So I'm going to head off there. I'll be back when we get somewhere near to the patrol zone. Okay, so here we go. So we've got a message to basically say in the... Um we need to patrol this, blah, 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 blah. We've got to protect our crew, blah, 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 blah. Um, and we're, we've kind of just kind of have confirmation soon that the UK is at war with us. They're not at war with us currently, so we can't actually attack their shipping, but we will eventually when we get there, because um, that will, will happen. Obviously, everybody who knows World War II will know that for sure. So we're going to do this as our patrol route. We're going to go about uh, 100 kilometers across, then about 340 kilometers down, and we're going to do that a couple of times and see what we can find. So that's going to be our base thing. We've got it on the dive schedule. So every six hours we're going to dive. Every six hours we're going to come back up and we'll just see what we can find. So let's go. We'll, we'll kind of let it run for a little while. Captain, we've risen to the surface. So we'll see what we can find. Um, we're going to get messages like this to happen every time. Okay, we're just yeah. going to say that we are now at war with the UK, which is Captain, round out the red. The um, and you can see here we're now kind of halfway through our, our kind of movement. And now France is also at war with us as well. So we can kind of we can't attack French ships, but we can kind of like um, defend if they attack us. But we're very rarely going to find a French ship. So we're just going to keep on this dive schedule. It's going to, we're not going to find much, to be honest. Um, my experience of the first patrol is always that it's quite a bit dull unless we get right to the coastline. Um, but we'll find out as we go along. We're just going to follow this and see what we can find. Um, so we, we keep diving every six hours and then we're going to keep obviously have the hydrophone guy checking. He's going to be checking around and seeing what's going on, whether or not there's anything around. We'll no notify if we do find anything and then we'll get into the business if we find something. Hopefully something that's moving closer to us rather than further away because that's going to be a bit of a pain if not. So let me just send this out because we need to get that extra cash. So we send the patrol rig out. So we're just going to keep on following this along. Um, the hydrophone is going to go down every six hours and we'll be able to see what we can find. 
I'm hoping that when we kind of get to around here, we should start finding something. Um, Captain, so while we still got fuel, then I'll keep on doing that as well. So we should, our engineers should be having extra guys helping them out, um, but they don't seem to. Should That would be helping out fuel if we did. I have propellers detected. Right, so what's going to happen now is you see this propeller sign? We've got a little thing, medium closing in, bearing 105 meters. So what we can do is, if I, I missed the window, but now if we go, we're going to have to go down to periscope depth. Now, the only reason I'm saying that is because we need to get more accurate reports of what's going on. So let's speed up this. Right, smoke over the horizon. So it is 10 to 20 kilometers away, right? Bearing 296 and there's one unit. So if we go to this button here, this is going to operate the attack periscope. And we're going to put this into uh, this view. Obviously, we're paused at the moment, so we'll be able to come out of pause. Um, we can have a little look around now. So this is going to center it to zero. Um, and then we're going to do, uh, I think it's WAS and D to have a look around and see if we can see any ship on the horizon. Now, it said there was a funnel on the horizon, so we're just going to keep our eye out for it. Um, so we're just giving it a good search. We could surface and do this with the watchman, but this is a different way of doing it, I suppose. But I don't see them at all, to be honest. So it did say it was only 10 to 20 kilometers away, so we should really see them. On. So I think what we do then is we actually surface. Blow the tanks. Up five meters. Um, we can have a little look. There's something over there. Um, what did it say on the map, how far away it was? It was bearing 295. So. 295 is, uh, where's 295? So we're looking at over here somewhere. There it is. You can see that in the distance now. So if I now go to the watchman, um, he's coming out now. He should switch over his role. There we go. We go to uh, 295. So we're over here somewhere. This is actually very slow. There must be a quicker way of doing this, but I haven't worked it out. Um, so we swing round eventually. I feel like we've moved like 360 degrees like three or four times right now. So it should be somewhere around here. We should see a smoke signal. There we go. There's a ship over there. And you can see the smoke. So we're going to send that report through. So we, we're like, okay, we've seen the ship. So 295 is where it was, over there. So we need to head over there. So let's go onto the map and let's go. It looks like it's going this way. So if we head this way, right, we'll, we'll intercept it. That's the plan. And we want to intercept it and we'll, let's sink it. If it's a ship that we can sink, that is. So it's bearing 2-2. Let's head that direction. Now, this guy has uh, this guy has the full crew. He's navigating, so we probably should have him. He's the one not currently on station, so he's got the two extra sailors. But if we had gave the sailors to Riga, he would be able to I need some help here. give us a better sight. There we go. So let's speed this up a little bit. Um, so we know it's kind of ahead of us now. Merchant ship. There we go. So it's one merchant ship. So we're going to go into Periscope. This is what we've trained for. We'll so what we're going to do now is we're going to go down and we're going to we're going to go in and we're going to we're going to fight. So we're about to uh, go into Periscope. It's pretty much straight ahead of us to the right somewhere. There it is. So we're going to kind of close the distance a little bit more now and then we're going to get ourselves in position. So we're going down to Periscope and we're going to go this way. So let's do it. And we'll have the hydrophone operator come back eventually once we're bound into the depth, so we'll be able to keep an eye on it anyway. But we can see it now, so I'm not too fussed about that. So let's get ourselves caught up with it. We'll get caught up a little bit fast. We can speed up a little bit. Let's go a little bit faster. There is another one that's moving away from us. We're not worried about that one. Okay, so let's, let's go back out and 
We're now at periscope depth because you can see that we can't actually be seen, so that's good. So it was over here somewhere. We've lost it for now. So we know it's five to 10 kilometers away at bearing three, six. So we could actually plot a capture course, but the capture course is not available right now. So we've got to try and capture it. So we know it's bearing three, two. So let's, let's mark that as well. So let's go bearing three, two, about there. It's about 10 kilometers away. So we know that it's, oops, it's in that direction somewhere. So if we, what do, uh, bearing is it going? It's going bearing of six degrees. So we need to probably head Set a this way. And we can now, we're going to have to speed Hold up a little bit. We're going to try and catch this. Let's go over there. We can see it's moving five to 10 kilometers away. So it's not that far away. So let's do another check. So it's the bearing three, five, eight, and it's five to 10 kilometers away. So we're going to do another one. Let's save. Bearing three, five, eight. And it's about 10 kilometers away. So it's, it's like there. Oh, didn't work. Okay. Three, five, eight. It's about 10 kilometers. So it's something like this somewhere like that i think so again it, it looks like it's getting away from us maybe but we're we're, we're going fast we're going to try and catch it so in fact the surface so we can switch to diesel engine so we can catch it funnel smoke bearing 350 degrees captain we've risen to the surface there it is merchant ship 304 alarm Take your position. So we're going to keep on going across. We'll get through this together. All right, so let's get ourselves targeting then. So we need our one of our guys on the uh, attack periscope. Speed up slightly. So there he is. Okay. Uh, and we know that is just off our kind of side. So we need to go to the side of it. Uh, it's like around here somewhere. It should be super visible. It should be really close. Where is it? It was like literally just to our right. Oh, literally to our left, I think, is what I'm looking for. There it is. So we can see it now. So let's lock onto it. We probably need to get a bit closer. Let's go a bit, a bit faster. Get, let's get caught. Let's catch up with it. So it's going straight north. It's definitely British. So we need to catch up with it for sure. So um, let's go for this course. Um, I think we're going to have to go, we'll have to go full flank speed on this, I think. But I don't think we have, annoyingly, we don't have the, uh, the, the crew available right now. Um, so we are catching. Um, can we get across the back of them like this? This will be good. This will be good. This will be good. Come on. Set a course to these coordinates. I want to get a little bit closer, like probably about a kilometer away. Um, yeah, we're still about four kilometers away at the moment. Oops. Set a course to these coordinates. Let's try and get a little bit closer. We're kind of stalking right now. Set a course to these oh, coordinates. Too far, too far. Dive, dive. Depth. We got a bit too close. 3.7 kilometers. Okay. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so it looks like it's a... It looks like it's already been all calculated for you anyway. That's nice. So I think we're ready to take a fire. Um, 5.3 kilometers is the estimated distance, so we need to probably close in a little bit. Um, I think we... Well, we would be fine, I think, but maybe we come just a slightly a bit closer. Captain, we're at periscope depth. Ready for surface observations. 
That's... Oh, they've legged it. They've gone flank speed now because they, they know that we're chasing them. Uh, we got a little bit too close, I think. Yeah. That's frustrating. Actually, they got a little bit too close. So let's go back onto dive schedule and, and carry on. That's unfortunate because we, we were nearly there, but we just didn't quite get close enough. Yeah, it's moving away. We'll never catch it now. We'll never catch it. Ah, uh, it's a shame. Well, we're back on schedule again now, so we should be back to back to normality. I'm going to make myself rest. Right, let's keep going. See what else we can find. Hopefully we'll find something in this episode. So we're going to keep rolling down here, see what we find. Uh, it's because both our officers are in bed. Um, so I need to give one of them. There we go. We need to do that. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll, we'll never we'll never know where we are. So there we go. I'm going to just rub all of this out. Captain, we've risen to the surface. Ship spotted. Where was the ship? Report set. Merchant ship. Three hundred and forty. Three hundred and forty. Take your positions. Remember oh. Your training, everyone. Oh wow. Okay. Focused. We're right there. Uh, okay, uh, Riga, we need you to watch for no. Sometimes the mouse is a bit funny, there we go. Uh, what, what bearing was it? It was, oops. It was bearing, uh, what's that from us? It's like 40, 40 degrees to the left. So like two, 260, something like that. Yeah, about where we are. I don't, do you see it guys? I'm trying to see it, I can't see it. I don't see it right now. So it is dark, so this is uh, heading south. So we could probably catch it. So if we go periscope depth, Man the attack periscope. we go this way. Man the attack periscope. Captain, we're at periscope depth, ready for surface observation. All right, let's go. Switch to electric motors. Let's see if we can catch it on periscope depth and then we can get it. We can get it. Change course. Come on. Change course. Moving away. We're never going to catch that. There's one moving away this way as well, which is definitely not going to catch. Uh, it's only two kilometers away, but it's dark, so I think we're struggling to, to catch it because it's dark. Uh, I don't see it anywhere. Um, hmm. I don't see it at all. I see it on this screen. Oh, I can see it there. Set a course to these coordinates. Change course. We need to probably head over there. Let's head over. Frustrating. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get something nice for you so that we can get a nice kill for this video. Um, but we're, we're quite slow underneath the water, so let's probably get a bit closer. Up, 
Let's try and get a bit closer. Switch to diesel engines. I'm going to try and push myself a little bit closer. Okay, so we're heading towards the ship now. How far away are we? 1.8 kilometers. This is good. All right, I think we're now kind of back in in line with it. So we're about to go down, down, down. Captain, we're at periscope depth. Ready for surface observation. Switch to electric motors. I'll just make sure we weren't going too fast. All right, so let's go through then. Let's try, let's try. Uh, so what distance is that we're looking at? 195-ish. Uh, so we need to be this way. They're not a quicker way of doing this. Oh, didn't mean to do that at all. 195, so we're gonna come around here. We might still be a little bit too far, too far away, but we'll see. Torpedo and tube three maintained. Right, we've got the torpedoes maintained, they're ready to go. Around about here somewhere, the ship. We should see it on the periscope. Somewhere around here. I don't know why I can't see nothing. Like on this ship right here. The ship must be here somewhere. I can literally see it. <laughs> I find it quite tough here. Um Right, so there's the ship. So we're about we're less than a kilometre away right now. So maybe we come like here. Right, we've got the ship. We have the target. So we can calculate. This is another way of doing it, but I wanted to do it manually. I'm getting a bit frustrated not being able to actually get it in my scope. So we can kind of sit here and let them target. And then when they're ready, we can fire. So let's kind of... Keep rolling. Set a course to these coordinates. We're going to keep trying to keep this in our target range. It's getting away from us because we're slowing now because we're obviously underwater. We really need to get past them, to be honest. Uh, let's go back up to speed. Switch to diesel engines. Target position reached. Captain, we've risen to the surface. Let's keep going. We can overtake them if we if we are at this speed. We could overtake them, and then that would work. But they'll see us, and then they'll kind of be not really worth it. So Captain, we have reached our target. we're we're quite close to them now. <laughs> at what distance is that now? We're looking at what five hundred meters. I think I think somehow <laughs> that they might see us. <laughs> Oh, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, they might they might see us. Like, um, I don't know about you, but I think they might see us. Um, <laughs> right, so what we would do normally is we would obviously find out what ship we're looking for. We found it. We've got the velocity of how fast it's going, the angle on the bow, and they're now noticing us, so we're going to go. We're going to go down. We need to fire these torpedoes as quick as we can. Flood two one. So we're going to flood the torpedo, wait for that's flooded, and then we're just going to fire it. Captain, the enemy ships have sounded their alarms. Stay sharp, but don't panic. Right. We'll handle this. We could also fire the deck gun. But 
Meh. So we could fire this now, but we haven't got a gyro angle synchronized. We are starting to now go underwater. Ready for surface observations. Switch to electric motors. Alright, can we fire now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait for that gyro angle to sink. You can see this is the angle of gyro that you see it's kind of going across. We're just waiting for that now to kind of come up. It's trying to get away from us, but we're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Come on, let's get it round. And then we can fire or foya. 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 Ready. Here we go. Here we go. Estimated torpedo course is going to land at the right place just about. Now, okay, so the torpedo has been launched. You'll see it the launch now. Look, there we go. Off it goes. We've got 40 seconds till impact. So we can, uh, well, we can close this now. We don't need this. So we can actually click on the camera in a second and you'll see the ship. So this is the ship. Um, the torpedo is going to hit it any second soon. Well, 40 seconds time. 20 seconds. So hopefully if we get it just right, there should be an impact, and that'll be quite nice. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Come on, please hit, please hit, please hit. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. I mean, they didn't do much to to kind of get away from us, but yes, great shot. Right, we'll surface. We're going to come down here. You can see that. We're now going to set a course over here because we're going to go and pick up their their kind of sailors, make some get some loot if we can find it, um, and we can actually well we could tell them that we're going to sink it. I think we've already done that to be honest. Surely they must be sinking right now. Surely they're sinking. Surely. Captain, the enemy ships are at battle stations. Be easy. They've survived worse. Stay calm. Come on. Uh, this will basically the what can have there we go. It, it has sunk now. What happens is it usually sits on fire for a little while and it takes a little while and then eventually it does it does sink and there we go, it is sinking to the bottom. Um and that's fine. We, you know, that's a good kill for us. So we can now pick up these. Uh, we can pick up these lifeboats and take these these crew with us. So let's go back to the ship. And we'll head over there now. As you can see, we're just we're just pulling up. Slow ahead. We're going to slow down a little bit because we're uh, we're gonna, otherwise we're going to go too far. So we can uh, look in the wreckage, pick up the wreckage. So here we go. We can go and check the lifeboat. We invite them on board. So we'll just take as many as we can so we're going to take six so we'll take them and then look at the wreckage again and we can load either make kits or replacement parts so we'll just take the replacement parts we've got to wait 20 seconds but it won't take too long and then that's our ship kill for the day and i think i'm happy with that for our episode i'm going to head back to the port once i think we've finished our patrol and then the next episode we'll get more into the the more nitty gritty stuff this is just kind of our first introduction i suppose so there we go. So now we can kind of go, oh, not ventilation. That's what we want. Uh, deck storage. And we can take those uh, and put them on our ship. Right, so let's kind of go back to our map and let's uh, zoom right out again. And we'll head back towards, uh, we'll be back towards our our port. So let's head over that way. We'll, we'll get going. So there we go, so we're now leaving, we can now speed up a little bit more. We can keep traveling and then we can head off. There we go, perfect. 
So that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're enjoying our uh, trip on our ship. We're in our new ship. Obviously, we're traveling at lightning speeds right now. But we... Um, let's slow that down. <laughs> we are currently on our U4. And we've got our first kill on our mission. Which was quite easy, to be fair. The, the merchant ship was trying to get away from us. But we, we were a bit quicker. So we've done a really good job here. And then as the sun sets, we can kind of... Or sun rises, sorry we can uh, end the episode so thank you guys make sure you leave a like make sure you uh, subscribe and make sure you comment as well below and maybe consider also joining my patreon which would be quite interesting as well uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one